Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I will be showing you how to connect your Flutter project to Firebase using Firebase CLI. After the end of this video, you will be able to connect your future project to your Firebase within a minute. There is also beautifully written step by step form of this video in my website, link is in the description, you can check out. Moving back to the today topic, let's head over to our Firebase console account give a project name and continue either enable or disable the google analytics hit continue choose your account and hit continue now your firebase project is successfully created to connect with your flutter project click on the flutter icon click this firebase cli download link and open in a new tab Download this Firebase CLI tool according to your operating system. In my case, I am downloading Firebase CLI binary for Windows. Now open the Firebase CLI tool and write Firebase login. It should ask your credential. Hit enter and log into your Firebase account. In my case, I have already logged in. So we have completed the Firebase CLI download and we have completed the Firebase login command. Now we have to run another command npm install the firebase tool you can see here. Uh, so for this we have to download the node.js. Quickly download the node.js. Install it. And open. I have successfully downloaded the node.js. Uh, okay, sorry, this command npm g run firebase tool uh, should be in the command prompt. So I open my terminal and hit the npm install g firebase tool. Uh, let me wait for a while. After some time, it will download all the required files now you are ready to go okay you can again come to the firebase cli tool and hit uh, firebase login if you have encountered some error on the previous firebase login command then after installing the node.js and running that npm g run firebase tool command you can again try firebase login also, if you want to switch your account, then enter the Firebase logout. It will log out from that Google account. Again, enter the Firebase login. And it will open the default browser to login. So it is asking me press Y to continue. I am continuing it. Allow the permission. Uh, suppose this is not the browser that you want to log in, then you can copy the link and paste it to the browser from which you want to log in. So let me open the Google Chrome. Paste the link in the browser and you will be able to select your Google account. Okay, so for the next step, copy the first link from the any directory you can run this command I am going to open up my command prompt and run the first command it's done now copy the second link and you have to run this command from your root of your Flutter project which you are going to connect with this particular Firebase project. It will take some time to complete and we are almost done. The last thing is to initialize the Firebase and add plugin and some of the dependencies. Once this command completes, then you can switch between the Android iOS web, 
by the arrow key and tick and uncheck by using the space key I'm gonna select only Android and it's gonna create me a Flutter project connected to the Firebase project for only Android devices next you have to initialize the Firebase which I have already copied head over to the main.tact and place the code inside of the main function there is a await in the Firebase initialization the main function must be async we have to add the Firebase code dependency to remove the error I am gonna control shift P and enter the Firebase code which will add the Firebase code dependency to my Flutter project this is the pubspec assist extension which you can download on the Visual Studio code When I import the Firebase core, you can see the error is gone. And we have successfully connected this Flutter project to our Firebase project. We have completed all the step and we are ready to go to console. In the console, you can see our sample Firebase project has been successfully connected to our Flutter project. That's it for the today video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and a sub to this channel would be awesome.